Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video we are going to talk about the two new upcoming super evolutions. We have Super Type Sabo and also Uta getting a super evolution. I won't show the full Uta artwork simply because it is essentially spoilers for the One Piece film Red movie and many people haven't seen it yet. If you want to know how to super evolve both of those units though, for Uda, you need to clear Kizuna 20 times and you will get 5 of your Super Evolution Skulls. And for Sabo, his Skulls will be available through the Kizuna reward boxes, so you need to gather tickets to of course get all of his Skulls. So both units need 5 Skulls to Super Evolve and those will be available through the upcoming Kizuna vs Shanks. Let's now talk about their abilities and see the differences between their 6 star and 6 plus forms. Let's begin with Uta, the more recent unit. Her new captain ability now reduces own cooldown by 4 at the start of the quest, that remains the same, boosts in driven and powerhouse attack by 5.25 times and HP by 1.3, so the units that are boosted change. The 6 star form has int, striker and cerebral, now we get driven and powerhouse instead. So this is a side grade, not a direct upgrade for Uta. If the special has been launched this turn, boosts in driven powerhouse by 5.5 times instead, and if there is only one enemy at the start of the cruise attack or when moving between each stage in a fight, it reduces damage taken by 40%. Immediately we can see the big difference in the latter part of the special, where we have no paralysis or special reverse reduction, we have damage reduction instead under a different condition, and the maximum possible attack boost is also 5.5 times, not just a constant 5.25 times, but losing the utility to remove paralysis and special reverse is pretty big, so I'm not so certain, we also need to check out the captain ability to judge this super evolution. So far, not a big fan. For the special ability we have tons of text, launches turn progress activated effect for 3 turns, Ok, so like the normal one. In each turn Uta will apply the following effect. Turn 1, 2.5 times Orb Boost and 2.25 times Affinity for Driven and Powerhouse. So this changes as well. Turn 2 the boosts are increased by 0.25 times and turn 3 the same thing happens for a maximum of 3 times Orb Boost and 2.75 times Affinity Boost. We are transitioning from an Attack Boost and an Orb Boost to Striker and Cerebral, to an Orb Boost and an Affinity Boost. This is definitely worse, because in my opinion an Attack Boost is way more important in majority of quests than a Color Affinity Boost. Yes, it can be situational and it depends on your team, but very generally an Attack Boost is better than an Affinity Boost in more situations. We have more though. It says that when this effect is active, reduce Cruise HP by 70% at the start of the turn, so for 3 turns we get a 70% HP cut on our team, not the best. If cruise HP is below 70% of their max HP, it removes the effect and applies bind to self for 5 turns. So even though this effect kind of seems worse because we have affinity instead of attack boost, it restricts Uta more. Okay, if the special effect is removed by the enemy, boosts driven and powerhouse by 2.75 times or boost and affinity boost by 2.5 times. And for the final part of the essay, if crew launches the same special effect while this effect is active, reduces crew's HP by 30 instead of 70, lowers the effect of HP condition to below 30% for effect removal, additionally extends the duration of attack up by 2 turns, locks slots for 2 turns, and boosts chain by 1.4 for 3 turns. So either A, I am understanding this wrong, or B, this is kind of an inconvenience and pretty restrictive, because if I don't have the double lands, then essentially I will remove my own unique effect halfway there before I get the maximum boosting, I will also reduce my HP by a lot and bind Uta for 5 turns. Even if you do have the double lands, do you really want to super evolve a great unit to this? I'm not so certain. So have it in mind if you have 6 star Uta, do not super evolve here immediately. 
and you do not have a dupe of course, if you have a dupe, you do not care, you can have both versions. Which versions by the way do not seem to work together, technically they boost each other as captains because they are both int, but one boosts driven powerhouse in the orb and affinity boosts, and the other boosts striker and cerebrals, so they do not even boost each other, and if we take into account that both unique effects are the pink note buff we get from Uta, and you can activate, for example, the 6 star version first and the 6 plus version second, they still don't synergize well, and of course they have different super classes, one is for cerebral, the other is for driven, so not even that synergizes well. Talking about the super class though, the condition of this one is when crew has an orb boost or a color affinity boost, easy to fulfill, and the special buffs an orb boost and the color affinity boost effect by 0.25 times for specials that are launched after this one for three turns so just like the other Uta but for different buffs again and then changes top and bottom row slots into matching while also making driven class super class you can get matching slots with this version of Uta so you can lock them and carry them over but that needs the double launch once again for first impressions, this unit relies way too much on the double lands of the special because otherwise it's not as effective and very restrictive or even annoying to team build with. And she also needs 5 skulls, not 1, so it's not like the Yamato situation where you could super evolve and then unevolve again and super evolve again if you had one copy. Here you pretty much need to commit to super evolving Uta and not only that, but essentially you get an amazing unit, you super evolve here and now she's way more restrictive and annoying and you need the double lance of her specials in order for her to work. If you use her as friend captain, she's not gonna be as effective as if you use the 6 star Uta as friend captain and you have another captain as your own. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I think this is pretty lackluster. Let's say I have one Uta, why would I give up my Paralysis and Special Reverse Utility in my Captain ability for Damage Reduction? Yes, Damage Reduction can be useful, but not in more situations than Paralysis and Slash or Special Reverse removal. Then, Striker, Cerebral, Attack Boost and Or Boost is probably better than Driven Powerhouse, Color Affinity and Or Boost. Yes, in the captain ability, the maximum attack boost I can get is 0.25 times more, but who cares, honestly? Then, the big one, with my 6 star Ruta, I do not have to worry about me cancelling my own special and then suffering the consequences. Why would I super evolve here and all of a sudden be binded if I don't have double Uta and I want to use another captain? And even if we do have the double lands, if I have the double lands with my 6 star Uta, I get a guaranteed full board of matching slots. Here I need the special and the super class to not even get a full board of matching slots. And I am cutting my own HP, which of course makes it worse for me to survive, hence why the damage reduction in my opinion becomes worse in this unit. If you had damage reduction in general, that's fine, but the only reason you have damage reduction is because you are depleting my own HP. I might not even need the damage reduction from the captain ability if I do not delete my whole HP bar because I wanted to activate my special to boost my units. What is going on? I'm probably overreacting a bit, but how do you manage to make an amazing 6 star Uta unit into this monstrosity? And it's even funnier because when they announced after her release that she will be getting a super evolution, I got Yamato vibes, as most of the people, I believe, and I was thinking, Okay, perfect, so now she will be super evolving later on and maybe she will be working perfectly with the rest of the bats because she was not even working properly with her own bats and maybe even the upcoming legends we are going to get that now we have, obviously 
and I was thinking she will probably become strength because One Piece film red, maybe even like Yamato, she will get a type change from striker cerebral to striker free spirit so she can have even more options to be great in many more teams. And I had this perfect plan and the perfect scenario in my head and now Bandai comes around, we get no strength units, not even a single one and the one strength unit that is actually involved in the whole celebration of one film red is super type sabo and even he turns from a strength unit into a psy unit. And <laughs> okay, okay, and then to top it all off they get the best legend they provide to us in the whole celebration, Uta, okay? And they make her worse! <laughs> they make her worse! I can just imagine Banda employees in a meeting room and they're discussing this, they're like, wait a minute, the best <laughs> wait a minute, the best unit they like from this whole celebration is Uta. Inconceivable! How can they like this this much? No, 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 we have to make her worse now. And what? You want a strength unit for One Piece film, Red? That is cheesy. Take a strength unit. Yes, John, you, decide on a strength unit. We are going to make it Psy. Dude, not even Oda can write this. This is incredible. Like, they say One Piece is big fiction? No, this whole situation is big fiction, man. This is incredible. Oh my god, dude, I hope you guys enjoyed this little whole stand-up comedy bit, whatever it was, because I have laughed so much. I know we have derailed from the whole purpose of the whole video, but what is going on with this One Piece Film Red celebration? I just love the fact that we have been begging for someone to be strength, but we have seen every other color except strength. Okay, time for the game phase to be back on. We are going to talk about Sabo now, the unit that will be actually transitioning from Strength to Psy. For his captain ability, he boosts chain multiplier growth rate by 1.5 times, boosts Psy and Strength character's attack by 4 times, cruise HP by 1.25 times, makes crews Strength, Psy, RCV, and TND slots have matching slot effects, and heals crew by 1 times character's RCV for every perfect at the end of the turn. I'm actually very happy with this, his boosting essentially remains the same at 4 times and also the growth rate of the chain at 1.5 times, but he makes 4 different slots matching in Strength Psy, RCV and TND and now boosts 2 different colors, Strength and Psy, not only one. His healing is also doubled now at the end of the turn, everything else remains the same, but a pretty nice change in my opinion for his captain ability, simple yet effective. For his special, he reduces all enemies HP by 10% and boosts color affinity for Psy and strength characters by 2.25 times for one turn and if the crew lands 3 perfect strikes in this turn, boosts color affinity for Psy and strength characters by 2.25 times again for the next turn. He also boosts the chain multiplier by 1.1 for one turn after one turn. For his special, we see the HP cut being added, he was not doing that and also the type effect boost is now more and for Psy on top of strength. It was double, it is now 2.25 times and the chain boost from plus 1 is now plus 1.1. Nice and he has level limit break updates for both the captain and the special ability. So to really quickly talk about this, for his captain ability he gets 0.25 times more of an attack boost. And then for his special ability, what he does is that the chain multiplier goes to plus 1.3 times and the color affinity in the second stage, if you hit the perfects, then it goes to 2.5 times instead of 2.25. Not huge differences, but in quests you want to do lots of damage, they can definitely help. For his super type, the condition now has more characters available, I'm pretty certain. Luffy, Ace, Koala, Rebecca, Ivankov, Inazuma, Lindbergh, Bello, Betty, Karasu, Morley and Kuma. Definitely more people here because the Revolutionary Army members except Koala were not there. And his special applies ignited status to all enemies for 2 turns, nice. Boosts chain multiplier by 1.25 times for 1 turn. Adds 150 times character's attack in non-type damage on top of tab timing bonuses for 1 turn. And changes Psy into Super Psy of course. Here we do have the ignited status being applied to the enemy as a change that was not here that can definitely help 
versus Ace if they work together in the same team. And then the chain multiplier boost remains the exact same and the tap timing bonus is increased from 100 times to 150. Overall, I think Sabot definitely has a very nice side grade super evolution because now the strength version does not become obsolete. Do not forget, he's a color affinity booster. And now that he has both strength and psi in his colors, if you are against dex content, even though the color affinity is a bit less, you probably still want to use the strength version because he also has color advantage himself. With the psi version super evolution, he might give you more boosting essentially, but it's not a huge difference and at the same time you lose the color advantage from Sabo because he is now Psy, not Strength. On top of that, if you want to use him as Captain, he gives you two different super types, so more damage for two different colors. We have options and that is great. Time for the classic voting poll now. We are going to have two this time because we get two super evolutions. The first link in the pinned comment is for 6 plus Uta. Click the link there and tell me if you think Uta is a good super evolution or not. And then the second link in the pinned comment is for 6 plus super type Sabo. Tell me if you think he is a good super evolution or not. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.